Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the Praise the Lord. 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 Praise Praise the Lord. Oh, you said right. I, thought, I said that's right. I thought right. you said Brian. For some reason. <laughs> um, yeah, God is so good. He is so wonderful. Um, I just keep thinking about this. I was watching a, a message from Brother Cole the other day, and he was talking about speaking the word of faith. And it was, it was a powerful message, but just a kind of a light note of it, when he first got up there, and he was, you know, Brother Cole was a little bit... Uh, a little bit bigger gentleman. Real tight. Um, and he got up there and he goes, he was real serious and he said, Church, I need you to help me to pray. Pray for these Kmart suspenders. <laughs> <laughs> That's <funny>. But <laughs> he started laughing. It was just funny. Yeah. But the word, if you ever get a chance to see that on YouTube, um, power of speaking the word of faith. Um, and that's, you know, I know he's talking about you know, speaking the word of faith a lot too. Sister Diane texted the group the other day <coughs> after we prayed on Tuesday, and she's peeing. Okay. Yeah, seeing that one, I didn't know if there was any more news after that. But no, no, okay. that was it. You know, whatever God's will is, yes. you know, we're believing. We know that God can do the miraculous. We know that God can move mountains, that he can part the waters, that we can walk through on dry land, whatever yes. it might be. Um, so Thank you, Jesus. Yes. So, anybody have a praise report? I got to go pray this morning. Um, I was invited to the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce meeting at City Hall this morning, and uh, I was just invited to be there. When I got there, I was asked to pray um, before the meeting started, so awesome. these opportunities are coming much more frequent, and so thanking God for yes, that. Yes, amen. 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 He's getting us out there. Amen. amen. Opening doors and you know, making ways when it would seem like there's a way, but God makes a way. Right, amen. amen. Um, but if it's okay with y'all, if you want to just stand with me and <laughs> just, just praise the Lord for a little bit, magnify the Lord, and uh, this is bless His holy name tonight, Lord. We, we exalt you, we thank you, we magnify you tonight, Lord. We lift up your holy name. We thank you, Lord, that your name is above every other name. seasons in the kingdom of God, our adversary also has seasons in the way he works, and it will be it will be seasons of a 
particular type of violence and then this type of violence. And then he said there is a season when it seems like it's always, it's a season of gun violence. What have we had in the last three months? Right. Grocery store shooting, a school shooting, a church shooting, and uh, there's been others. Right. Matter of fact, I heard one, one news blurb today that there have been 27 different types of shootings since January, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, and we, we've seen this before, yes. so I, this is something we definitely need to pray about. Um, so if you don't mind, Brother Barbara, you want to lead that, or I can lead that if you don't mind. But, but let's pray together uh, how the Lord leads. Obviously, binding and loosing is something we need to do. Heavenly Father, we come boldly to the throne of grace. We know tonight, God, beyond the shadow of any doubt, that your word is true. God, what you have said in this word, you promised us that if we would speak the word of faith, you promised, O oh Lord, that if we would call on your name, if you would, we would bind in earth, and you would bind in heaven, if we loosed on earth, you would, it would already be loosed in heaven. And so, Lord, tonight, we come boldly with confidence, taking dominion and authority over the spirits of hell. God, those things that are at work right now in our midst, in our world right now, spirits of hell, seeking to steal, kill, and destroy as much as possible. But Lord, you promised you came to give us life and that more abundantly. So in the name of the Lord Jesus, we take dominion and authority over this evil spirit, this, this gun violence spirit, Lord. That these, these evil works of the enemy right now, in Jesus' name, we bind them, we cast them down to the pit from whence they have come. And we loose the light and the knowledge of the truth, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. We loose the light of the Spirit of God, the work of the Spirit, the Word of God in the earth, those ministering angels, O oh Lord. We loose them now among those grieving families, the, the faculty of the school, the first responders, Holy Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray a covering around that city, O oh Lord, and school districts all around the state of Texas, and even, even right here in our own neighborhood, Father, we pray, speaking the word of faith and covering over BISD. God, we know you're able. We give all the glory, the honor, the praise. The glory belongs to you. And we thank you for what you're doing. God, we receive this work of faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise be to God. Amen. And you know, one thing that Brother Cole did say in that message was that. Uh, Greater is he that is in me yes. than he that is in the world. Yes. Yes. Amen. We don't have to fear, you know, we don't have to fear the enemy. We don't have to fear the plans and the tactics and the plans of the enemy. You know, we can cancel those things in the name of Jesus. Yes, amen. And we can lose the will of God. We can lose the spirit of the fear of the Lord. We can lose the perfect love of God. We can lose the peace of God. Yes, you know, we can lose the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding that comes from God. You know, we can bind up worldly wisdom and, you know, bind up worldly knowledge and stuff like that. And we can lose the things of the kingdom of heaven. You know, that's, you know, uh, I know part of that prayer that uh, I kind of got some notes from, from uh, Bishop Wright. And that was one of the things, you know, talking about um, loosening the kingdom into every home and loosening the kingdom of God into every place of the type of, you know, chamber that's holding any kind of business and loosening the kingdom of God into... You know, courtrooms and military facilities and police stations and stuff like that. We, you know, you could we could loose the kingdom of God everywhere. Yes. Right. You know, you could be driving down the road on the way to the store, on the way to work, or wherever it might be, and I loose the kingdom of God into that car, and I loose the kingdom of God into that car right now. And as we do that, we just have to have faith and believe. You know, as we're praying that this that the Lord is actually answering prayer and that He's He's doing this stuff. Right. You know, we, I believe that. Amen. And I don't know what's happening in that car when I pray it, but you know what, Lord, I believe your will is going to be done yeah. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, you know, because we don't always know names and situations and everything, but God knows every name, He knows every face, and He knows everything that's going on in everybody's life. Yes, Amen. amen. Um, so thank God for that. So tonight, we're, you know, we just need to realize that God is not asking us, because we're talking tonight about the power to succeed. We've been kind of going over being 
uh, uh, blessed and being successful in that nature. So we just need to realize that God is not asking us to become successful through our own effort. <laughs> Thank God. Right. You know, yeah. He simply wants us to allow Him to make us successful through His own power. You know, and that's what it is. You know, each day, you know, praying that we, you know, we surrender ourselves to Him and yield to Him and you know, loose the kingdom of God into our lives. We, you know, loose upon me the spirit of the fear of the Lord that I would not. You know, conform to the patterns and the standards of this world, but that I would conform to your will, Father. And that, you know, through your through your spirit, by your power, Lord, I can do and I'm kind of jumping ahead already, so we'll just kinda of <laughs> hold that in for a minute. Um, but God does not ask or expect us to succeed all on our own. He just doesn't say, Hey, you go out here and I want you to do this and I want you to you know say this and then he just kinda of lets us go. No, he, he sends us but he, he goes with us. Right. Amen. He's he's going with us. You know what? I'm first of all I'm taking I'm taking you by the hand, Lord. <laughs> I'm not going if you ain't going. Um, he has put his own self and power within us to enable us to succeed. And you know, like I said before, he's you know we pray each day for the um, the uh, the armor of God. We pray the armor of God on. We take our our shield of faith. We take the sword of the Spirit. Um, we got our feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of the peace. So he's, he's given us the things that we need. We got his name. And I plead the blood of Jesus right now over me. In the name of Jesus, I, you know, you know, I take a hold of my own head. How many times do you take a hold of your own head at times? And you're just like, right. right now I command that I would be baptized with the spirit of a sound mind. Right, so we go out into this world with a sound mind and the mind of Christ. So where when things happen and we just start recognizing things and start seeing through the eyes of God. You know what? Hey, this is, this is not of God, you know, or whatever it might be. And we can discern the things. Thank God for the Holy Ghost that lives within us. We can discern Amen. things too, right? Amen. Uh, so he sends us out there to succeed. So we can look at Philippians. I'm going to read, of course, from the Amplified. Philippians 4 and 13. It says to um, get a drink of water first. Um, it doesn't say that. Philippians 4 13. <laughs> I have strength for all things in Christ who empowers me. I am ready for anything equal to anything through him who infuses inner strength into me. It sees through him. Yes, amen. amen. There's another translation that says, For I can do everything God asks me to do with the help of Christ who gives me the strength and power. I can do everything yeah. that he asks me to do. Whatever God asks me to do, I can do it because of his spirit that lives within me, because of his strength, because of his power. I can go and say things. You know, I, you know, I sometimes I feel like I'm in places that kind of like maybe where you, you know, that chamber of the thing you were at and they asked you to pray. Sometimes I feel like, well, I kind of don't belong here, but then we got to catch ourselves and go, you know what? God opened the door. Yes. God made a way for me, you know, so we just need to take that and go, you know what, I'm going to see if it starts eating, like we've been learning the past few weeks, too, seeing ourselves as God sees us. Right, right. You know, seeing ourselves as victorious, seeing ourselves as ambassadors yes. of Christ in this, you know, in this world. Seeing ourselves as, as mighty men and women of God, as prayer warriors and intercessors. We get into, we get into prayer at times and we feel like the Lord is leading us into uh, spiritual warfare and maybe we've kind of backed off at times because maybe we whoa, well, I'm not in the church house, I'm not with my brothers and sisters I don't I don't have bishop here and pastor in here and, and sister Smith ain't here like how she kind of led us in spiritual warfare and intercessory prayer and through the different types of prayer this past week and, but we're in our own home and we're in our own prayer closet and we're like oh wait a minute, I don't have hold on a minute I got the Holy Ghost living within me. That's all I need. Amen. That's all the direction. I know it's, we have great teaching and we have great leadership here. Yes, amen. We do. Amen. And, amen. You know that was awesome. How sister, she kind of did. Well, that first, you know, that was God give us the yes. direction. Right. Yeah. Sister Smith was just a willing vessel yes. to bring it to us. But we can have that same teaching. We can have that same, you know, uh, instilling within it each time we just get into His presence. Right. Amen. amen. I don't have to trust in, you know, I thank God for our pastor and our bishop and our, you know, our yes. leadership. But you know what? I don't have to trust in them. 
to for the things that God will. You know, I, I trust y'all. Don't get me wrong. You don't say I don't have to completely rely on them. Is what I'm trying to say. That's right. Amen. I gotta rely on Him. Right. Because, like I said, where did it come from? Anything that He's ever, it's come from Him. Right. Amen. We can have that. We, God can take us to places that we just, we just gotta start seeing ourselves as okay. You know what? I'm gonna go there. You want, to, you want me to go there? I'm going to go there. You want me to say that? I'm going to be that voice. I'm going to be that mouthpiece that you called me to be. Amen. You know, times where you might be places that you're like, wow. You know, maybe I'm rubbing elbows with some kind of people that I might not feel too comfortable rubbing elbows with. But you know what? Fill me with the boldness of the Holy Ghost right now, Lord. Let me just speak and act on your behalf. Um, so, we can do all things. He gives us the strength. He empowers us to do it. There are many promises in the Bible that God will never desert us or leave us alone in any situation or any time of need. Right? He's not going to leave us. He's not going to forsake us. What is, uh, somebody want to mind getting Matthew 28 and 20? You know, uh, even those times when we might feel like God is so far away. I know you have those times when you're in prayer. I know you have those times when you're walking with the Lord, but you know. Uh, but you know what? Like His Word says, He's not going to leave us. He's not going to forsake us. That's right. If you have Matthew 28 and 20, if you just want to go ahead and uh, shout it out there, you got to get it. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and I lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. I'm with you always. 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 He doesn't just say, hey, I'm with you on Monday. Right. You know, from five to five. No, he's always. Yes. He's with us always until the end. What does it say? Until the end of the. Even until the end of the world. Until the end of the world. Amen. Okay, to me, I take that as, you know what? He's with me always. Yes. He's with me any time of day. He's with me no matter where I might go. Yeah. Right. He's not going to leave me. He's not going to, you know, like it says here, he's not going to leave me alone in any situation. We do not have to fear man and what man can do to us because we have the almighty God as our helper. Yes. (laughs) I don't have to fear what man can do. I don't have to fear the things that man is doing in our world today. I don't have to be afraid of that. That's true. You know, when when COVID hit, you know, some people, you know, we didn't have to be afraid of COVID. You know, but I didn't want to get it. So, yeah, we take, the Lord he did give us some common sense. Yeah. You know, let's, we, if we're supposed to take some precautions, let's just take take some precautions, right? right. right. If, if, you know, I'm not fearing the things that man can do, but, you know, sometimes we protect ourselves in certain ways, right? Maybe you're taking karate on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> By Mortimer's uh, sensei. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That Jim Bob's. Yeah. Huh? That was Jim Bob's Jim uh, you went to? It was uh, uh, Bruce Lee Roy. Yeah. <laughs> um, his dojo was garage. Uh, <laughs> so we don't have to fear right. the things that are going on in the world. Right. Okay? Now, it doesn't mean I, don't, I shouldn't like take precautions and be, you know, keep your head on a swivel all the time. Brianna goes somewhere. By yourself, or I was like, "Hey, keep your eyes on, you know, keep your head on the swivel, keep, be aware of your surroundings yes. and whatnot." But you know what? I got, I'm covered by the blood of the yes, Lamb. Yes. I'm filled yes. with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yes. I've been baptized in the name of Jesus. I pray my covering on today. Yes. Yes. And you know what? All I got to do is sometimes, if I can't say anything, I can just say yes. Jesus. That's right. He Amen. says. He promised, and he is not a liar, that he is not going to leave me, and he's not going to he's not going to leave me alone in any situation. That is true. He knows where Walmart is at midnight. Yeah. If I got to go buy something at Walmart at midnight, you know, sketchy, you know, things that happen in the dark. But you know what? I got light with me. Amen. 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 Praise right. God. Thank you, Jesus. And you know, Brother Barbara, we don't know we have that kind of faith until you're actually put there. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Yeah, that's true. Been there a few times. Right, been there sometimes too. Uh, Southside of Youngstown, <laughs> back home. Uh, hallelujah. Yeah, so I remember <laughs> Sister Smith was going and helping one church on the south side, and we're like, just be careful over there. She's like, oh, gee, oh my, what? <laughs> you know? 
because he had no clue. And we kind of filled her in, and then she said, oh, maybe Bishop should go with you. <laughs> but, you know, hey, she was fine. She was fine. Yes. But, like I said, sometimes it's okay to have that extra ladies, and maybe your husband needs to escort you to the, you know, the late night shopping instead of, you know, whatever it might be. I don't know. Um, trusting in, you know, that we have God with us, and we don't have to fear, you know, if it's my time, right. it's my time. And some of us are like, woo, hallelujah. I really don't want to go in the Walmart parking lot. <laughs> This is my time. Uh, so we don't we do not need to fear Satan's attempts to keep us from succeeding for greater is he, like I said, greater is he that is in me than he is in the world. I don't have to fear Satan's attacks. I don't have to fear his plans. I don't have to fear, you know, these things. Right. You know, we could just buy it, like I said, we could cancel those plots, plans, and schemes of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Loose the will of God, loose the fear of God. You know, fill me with your wisdom, Lord, and let me see through the eyes of God. Yes. We got all the things that we need to where the Lord order my steps today according to your will or according, according to your word today, Father, in the name yes. of Jesus. So let my feet, take my feet only to those places where you want my feet to go today. Amen. Let my hands touch only those things that you want my hands to touch today. Yes. We could be specific in our prayer like that. Yes. You know, because I believe that he's a prayer answering God. Yes. So then anoint my eyes that I would only see those things that you want me to see today. Right. Let me hear those things that you all, that you I'm only supposed to hear today, those things that you want me to hear. Because yeah. I believe it was one of those uh, prayer conferences when we talked about where the one man came up to uh, Brother Cisco and was talking about that he was seeing and hearing all kinds of stuff and he was like he couldn't get throughout the day and it was starting to really get to him. It was starting to trouble him. And, Brothers and sisters, say, hey, you know what? Just start praying about your eyes and your ears. You only see the things that God wants you to see. You only hear those things that God wants you to anoint my mouth today, Father. Yes. Yes. Bind up these, these lying lips and bind up this gossiping tongue. Yes. I said it. Hello. I said it. It's easy to get caught up in that. Yes. Amen. You know, bind this up. Anoint this mouth. Anoint my lips. Anoint my tongue that I would speak truth. That yes. I would speak life. Yes. That I would speak blessing rather than cursing. Because that's what we're doing. You know, we start gossiping about somebody. We're just cursing them. How hard is it to just bless somebody instead of cursing somebody? You know what? Even if that person makes you mad, what does it say about your enemies? Pray, you know, it says to pray for your enemies. Do good unto them, right? <laughs> Hallelujah. That's right. Praise the Lord. Consider some of the differences between the one who is in us and the one who is in the world. What are some of those differences? I know that God is omnipotent. He's omnipresent. He's omniscient. He, the, the, the enemy, I was just telling somebody at work the other day, I was kind of almost having a little, uh, kind of a little Bible study, kind of just like a little praise report, sharing my testimony and all kinds of things. And I just kept going on and on, and they were like, oh, wow, we just went through, and I was like, hey, I can, tell, I can do this all day. <laughs> You're going to stand there and give me the time. <laughs> so you walk out of my office. <laughs> this is what, what you're probably going to get. Yeah. Um, and I was just kind of explaining those things, you know. I was kind of sharing Sam's testimony and, uh, you know, just how wonderful God is and the great things that God has done and uh, how powerful God is. Yes, amen. And, and, and that the enemy doesn't have, he's not equal. No. When people think that the enemy and the you know God and the devil you know they're not equal they're not on the same playing field. First, yeah. <laughs> my God's up here. Right. It says everything yes. is under His feet. That's yes. right. Everything. There is nothing that's on the same playing field on the same plane as Him. Right. His name is above every other name. Right. Amen. Whatever name that we put on it, His name is all is above it. Yes. Oh my goodness, cancer is afflicted our family. You know what? God's name is above yes. the name of cancer. Amen. Right. Yes. Yes. Co Amen. You know, COVID and monkey pop, whatever it might be. Right. His name is above every yeah. name. Amen. Praise God. Even some of those people, maybe we fear some people. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't have to fear, like I said, we don't have to fear man. We need to revere certain folks. Yes, indeed. Have respect for certain folks, kind of like we were hitting on, you know. Uh, I don't have to be afraid of them. Right. Amen. Praise God. 
of the one within us, Exodus 15 and 11 says, Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? Mm. God, you know, we can still see miracle signs and wonders in this day. That's right. Yes. You know, exactly. The things that, you know, of course, we, you know, we kind of were, you know, praying for the different shootings and things like that and the, the horrible things that do happen in this world. But you know what? God is so much at work in this world, too. Yes, yes amen. God is so much at work in our lives. We, you know, horrible things happen. But God, you know, I was, like I was telling somebody, that person uh, that I was sharing these things with, to, to where, you know, cancer, you know, it affects the whole family. Yes, yes. You know, it just, and I was explaining how how God was, you know, greater and how, how God's peace yeah. came in when we got that diagnosis and how God's peace just came in after that when I just spoke a word of faith. Yes. Just saying, hey, you do what you got to do. You talk all the things that are going to might happen in this thing, negative and this negative and whatever it could be. And then I said, you know what? You got to do what you got to do. But I'm going to get on my knees and I'm going to call upon my father yes. and, work, you know, ask him for his will to be done. And don't be surprised if we don't walk out of here with him a miracle, miraculously healed. Amen. And, you know, and right after that, that, speaking that word of faith and just trusting in God and believing in God and declaring Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. You know what? There was that peace. That's when that peace swept in. That peace that you're just like, I just don't know how I could have this peace. And we surrendered our will to his. Because we laid Sam on the altar. We said, Lord, he's your son. Right. If you choose to take him, so be it. Yes, amen. Give us the strength to continue on to serve you the way that we need to. And when we did that, it was just the whole atmosphere changed. Right. Because, you know, I was crying, please don't take my baby, please don't take my baby, because I was scared. You know, All the baby. things that are going on in your head, yeah. because we we were going to be done with Brianna. We were going to have Brianna, our little baby, and, we, you know, our little girl, and we were going to be okay with one child. And then the Lord said, I'm going to bless you with this. And now, now he's got cancer, Lord. Mm-hmm. You want to talk about some, okay, what are you doing here, Lord? But you know what? I'm yours. He's yours. We're yours. Whatever we have is yours. Right. The Lord give it. The Lord take it away. I don't. Want, you know, I might not understand what you're doing, but you know what? I'm going to trust in you. Right. I'm going to lean on you, and no matter what we go through, no matter what we face, I'm going to still praise you. I'm going to still magnify you because the only way I'm going to be able to get through anything and get over anything and get around anything or through anything is because of your grace. That's right. Because of your spirit that lives within me. Because of your hands in my hands. We take take the Lord by the hand. Lord, I'm I'm walking with you. Because I have to walk with you. Because if I start walking alone, I'm going to go to some places that I don't need to go. I'm going to go back to some dark places. Yes. Praise God. Yes, Hallelujah. Of the one in the world, Isaiah 14 and 16 says, They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms? Wasn't it how the bishop sometimes put it? Like, this little punk? <laughs> this little imp? This little thing is what was, you know, causing me to, you know, you know whatever have fear at times, yeah. you know, and I don't have to, but I can just say, you know what? In the name of Jesus. Mountains have to go. Yes. Yes. Sickness has to flee. Amen. Darkness has to go. I loose the light of God into this place. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Of the relative positions between the two powers, James 2 and 19 says, Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. Oh, yes. They know. Mm -hmm. They know. know. They believe and tremble. They know the name of Jesus. And there's been many times where I, you know, I had to say in the name of Jesus. And when we, you know, when we say the name of Jesus, you know, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. Right. And it's telling me that the the enemy knows and, and the enemy fears and trembles. You know what? 
Jesus' name, buddy. In the name of Jesus. That's right. You ever been into prayer and all of a sudden such a fear has come yes. over you and it's almost kept you from praying? All right. Oh, yeah. Come on. My prayer room back home in the house in Struthers was down in the basement and it was, you know, down in the dark basement and I was like, you know, or sometimes at the church late at night. You ever been at the church late at night? <laughs> The tree branches and the wind, all of a sudden, it's like, it, it wasn't windy when I drove up here. All of a sudden, you get into church out late at night, because sometimes the Lord will call you yes, just yeah. to see if you're going to be obedient. Yes. Anybody? <laughs> you're gonna, why do I have to go to the church house and pray? And he's just like, because I want you to go there. Yeah. It don't matter where you're praying at, but the Lord says, hey, I'm, I'd like you to go to the church house and pray. Done that to where the tree bridges and you like weird stuff and you hear. Yes. And the church back home, the, like I said before, the floors would all creep because there was a basement underneath. You'd be walking, you like, or something would just settle on its own. You know, that fear will come in, yes. right? Yes. And then your mind is on that. You're not even thinking about praying anymore. You're just like trying to pray. And you're like, what I open and you know worshiping, trying to worship. You're all afraid now. Yeah. Grown man. Afraid of the dark. <laughs> Come on, I know you're laughing because y'all are afraid too. Right? But you know what? They can whip that too. Yes, yes. Amen. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of fear yes. to be bound and cast back to where it belongs in the pit of hell in the name of Jesus. Yes. I loose the love of God. I loose the joy of the Holy Ghost. I loose the spirit of prayer. I loose the spirit of faith. Yes. I loose the miraculous. Amen. I loose that. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. When you get into that and you take care of that, you're in your prayer closet. Now you're moving. Yes. Amen? Yes, amen? So it just took a little bit of binding, took a little bit of loosening. Yes. It was simple as that. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Now I got the Lord in there, but you ain't afraid of them tree branches. <laughs> I'm afraid of the floor creaking. God is good. Amen. Lord, he's never, you said you weren't going to leave me. <laughs> He's like, I know I'm going out here moving these branches and just waiting to see. <laughs> Praise God. As blood bought, Holy Ghost filled Christians, we ought to recognize. Did I just like, go through a whole page? I just skipped the page. Oh, no. Okay. Blood bought, Holy Ghost filled Christians, we ought to recognize and openly confess where God is in us. He's yes. In us. I got the Holy Ghost, I got the Spirit. Of the one true God dwelling with you. Yes. I got the Spirit of God Almighty, the one who spoke everything into existence. It's that Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. Yes. That Spirit oh, yes. dwells within me and goes wherever I go. Oh, what a privilege yes. that we have yes. that we can be yes. a vessel, that we can that we can be, yes. you know, not just a vessel even, but be in that conduit where it's where. You know, the Lord pours into us, and now we can go, and we can allow him to use us to pour in to somebody else that we come in contact with. Yeah. Hallelujah. What a, sometimes it's just, it just blows my mind that, he, you know, we, we think, why would you want to use me, Lord? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he's, you know what his answer is? Why wouldn't I? Yes, amen. Why wouldn't I want to use you? And then, you know, we don't have to pull out a list. You know, we don't have to run down that list because that's just the enemy yeah. wanting to run down that list. You know what, Lord? You, would you forgive me of the sin of my life? Would you even forgive me of this doubt? Yes. Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. Right. Amen. And it doesn't have to take that. It doesn't have to take long at all. Right. We, can get our, we can get ourselves right with God. By refusing to acknowledge where he is, we make him difficult to reach in time of need and difficult to trust for, su for success. By realize, realizing God is within us and he is greater than all the evil forces that seek to destroy us, yeah. <laughs> whatever's coming to get God, once again, God is greater. Amen. We can have both peace and confidence in our daily lives. And that peace of God, like I said, it's just something that you don't understand. I'm, I'm pulling a wagon around the children's hospital, you know, with a son that, is he going to make it through the night? Is he going to be here next week? Whatever it might be. And I'm walking through there because I know that the Lord also told me 
that he was everything was going to be okay. Yes. I've taken care of this. Amen. Now, whenever the Lord says everything is going to be okay and he's taken care of it, that doesn't always mean that it's victory and healing down here, though. Right. All right. Amen. But you know what? You've taken care of it. Okay. Yes. So I've got that peace now. You know what? I'm just walking around and I'm feeling guilty because of the peace I've got because you see all these children in the, on this wing going through the things and baby, you know, little ones dying on Christmas Eve and we're in the next room and whatnot and, you know, people are, are hurting and people are, but you know what? When that uh, doctor got in and rode down the elevator with me that one day, he said, you know what? You didn't know this, but from the day you guys got diagnosed, I started my walk with the Lord at that same time and I've been watching y'all and y'all's unwavering faith yes. through all the things that you've been going through. Yes. So we don't know who was watching us. That's right. We don't know the lives that, yes. I'm not going to say that we're affecting, we don't know the lives that the Lord is affecting Amen. through yes. us. That's true. Because he said, you know, when he's, we're like, why would you want to use me? And he says, why would not I want to use me, use you? Right. You're there. Right. I've allowed these things to happen in your life because, you know what, well, for once I'm not going to leave you, I'm not going to forsake you, yes. but I'm also trying to save yes. souls yes. because people are watching you. People have been praying, Lord, open my eyes, help me to see. And I've put you in front of their eyes. I've put you in front of their path. I've put you behind the door that they were asking for me to open, and you're there. Right. Right. Amen. That's good. Amen. And they open the door, and, you know, and we're there, and they see the things that we're dealing with, and they see how we're responding, and, and, and how we're walking with the Lord, and how we're magnifying God, and how we're, we're glorifying God, and talking about the good things of God, and we're sharing the Word of God with them, and, and now yes. somebody else is just coming to His marvelous light yes. because of yet there was such a horrible thing that we were going through, but you know what? He's never left. Isn't that right, Sister Sheila? that elevator. He has never left. Right. And while he's caring for me, he doesn't just, I can only take care of one, probably, you know, like a nurse, you're only supposed to have so many people that you're supposed to take care of. Mm -hmm. Even though they do more, just, you know, they put more on you. Yeah. But the Lord can handle a whole nation. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Lord can take care of the whole world at the same time. Yes. He can mend wounded hearts yes, he can. in China, just as he can do to somebody in California at the same time. Yep. He could he could heal nations. He can heal broken cities. He so he could do whatever needs to be done. He is all powerful and he can do that. Amen. Thank God. We like I said, we don't have to fear the enemy of our souls. You know, the, uh, the feet, everything is under the Lord's feet. That's right. Amen. And those feet are on the church. Yes. And he has given us the power. Yes. To tread upon serpents and scorpions and to have power over all oh. the enemy. Yes. <laughs> so you know what? The enemy... Even when he thinks that he's going to be on the same playing field as me. You know what, buddy? I got the name of Jesus. Yes. Just like David, when he went out, Goliath wasn't on the same battlefield. He wasn't on the same level because David said, you know what? I come in the name of the Lord. Right. right. You come with, with sword and shield and spirit or spear or whatever. Right. I come in the name of the Lord. Right. Amen. Yeah. And that's... Yes, indeed. <laughs> we might think we're un, not equipped... For a lot of things, <laughs> we're well equipped. Yes. We are well equipped. Yes, we are. And you know what? Thank God for the things that He's allowed us to go through in our own lives. And thank God for the things that He's allowed us to go through as a body of believers together. Yes. Amen. To where we can share together each other's hurts and pains. We you know we can share each other's joys and, and times of rejoicing. Yeah. Right. I don't know. God's yes. just too good. Too good. Ephesians 6 and 10 through 8. Or not 10 through 8. 10 through 8. 10 through 18. <laughs> Read it backwards. <laughs> Ephesians 6. Lord help you, Jesus. 
10 through 18, if somebody wouldn't mind grabbing that. It's a little bit lengthy. Great job. So, to where? 10 to uh, 10 through 18. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. From the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers and the darkness of this world. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your lines girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. And your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. So here's the equipment that God has given us to succeed. That's right. I mean, we can't ever look at God and say, "Well, you you didn't you didn't supply me with the tools. You didn't supply me with the right equipment. You didn't." We can't ever look at God and say no, that. Right. Like I said before, He's given us everything. He's given us His Word. He's given He's given us His Spirit. That dwells within us. That's right. We've got shown right here. We've got we've got a, you know prayer, shield of faith, sword of the spirit. We got the you know the armor of God. Verse eighteen tells us how to put the armor on, and it talks about praying always. And we wonder what our problem is. Yes. Right. Yes. Amen. Yeah. It's true. It's very true. It's very you know. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. In the spirit. But we have a, you know, we have a hard time with praying always. And you know what? I don't know why we do, because when we get into prayer, we, and we know how awesome it is to be in the presence of the Lord. We know how awesome it is to be communicating with Him. Yes. And getting to a place where we're so, can I just say, intimate with Him. Yes. So we just let go of ourselves and we just let God have control over us. Lord, pray through me, intercede through, whatever it is. And, and, and we get to that place where the Lord just starts moving in us and through us. Yes, amen. 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 But then the next time we, we, you know, we need to be getting into prayer, we know we're getting to feel that call to prayer. Right? And I'm not just talking about a time where, okay, Monday night at 7 or... You know, Sunday morning be pre-served. I'm, you know, I'm talking about those times where we've been places or we've been doing something and the Lord's calling us, hey, come away. Yeah. Yes. Right? Yes. And we're, eh. Right. But praying always. So here's our problem. Yes. We're not praying enough. Absolutely. I'm guilty. Yes. I'm guilty. Yes. And I'm not talking about those little clock, you know, I don't know, we got to pray for an hour. You might not have to. God might call you to a prayer meeting, and that's the first thing. How long is it going to be? Right? Because yeah. we're dealing with our flesh. Yeah. I got things to do. But we, you know, I've been times where God, I felt like I was about to get into some prayer, and all of a sudden, God, five minutes in, and God's like, you're released. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so there's nothing wrong with that, though, to where, hey, if God's releasing, be released. Don't yes. try to extend something that God's like, this is not my will for you to extend this time of prayer. Yeah. All right. I don't, have you ever been, I've been there too. Yes. To where I'm like, you know what? Oh, I think I should be praying more. And God, if God says, hey, this is it. Yeah. Okay. It goes the same with when he's saying, hey, put $5 in the offering plate. And I'm like, six. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what are we doing? Right. Yeah. Right. We're being disobedient. Yeah. Right. I didn't. 
by trusting in God's strength and help in time of need. And by using His power as the shield of faith and the sword of the Spirit to accomplish all that He desires us to do for, for His glory. Right? Father, let me be a conduit. Lord, let, let them not see me, but see you. Do all of these things for your glory. God, amen. Help us that none of us receive, that we don't get any of your glory. Help us that we would not try to take any glory, but do all of this for your glory and your glory alone. Yes. Let's take the limitations off our unlimited God. It is His will for us to succeed. Yes. I mean, you know, we're asking the Lord, help me to be a, a passionate, successful soul winner. He, he's giving, I got a great testimony. Because sometimes we're like, well, what do I have to offer? Huh, dude, we got stuff for days. <laughs> we all do. Yeah. You know, and if it's not something, maybe you don't have your own personal, you know a whole bunch of stuff about people around you. Right. You know, you can't think of something. Come ask me. I'll give you some notes you can share with people. <laughs> I, you can share my testimony if you don't have anything you feel you have to offer. There is something, and you know what? God is good. Yes, amen. amen. If that's all I can say, if that's all I got to share with somebody for that time, you know what? God is good. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know, you know, I don't know why this door open for us to have a conversation right now, but you know what? God is good, yes. and God loves you, amen. and God desires to have a relationship with you. Amen. Yes, amen. Simple. Yes. I make it difficult. I make it so difficult. I make it so difficult, and then my mind gets turning. Yeah. Oh, yeah, now here we go. All right? Oh, I'm afraid. Now I'm worried that they're going to reject. Yeah. And who are they rejecting? Right. right. That's none of my business. It's anyways. Me, right? I can't be worried about people rejecting me. Because everybody loves me. <laughs> you can laugh. <laughs> Yeah, they laugh, and I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. We stand. <laughs> it is all right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know what? Instead of no, uh, how we normally would ask people to come up and we'd have prayer and stuff like that if you needed it, or we'd ask for prayer requests, how about we just praise the Lord and magnify the Lord? We just put our hands together. Could we, if you want to lift yes. your hands, if you want to shout, yes. give a voice of triumph. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome.